Hi, so what's your name and what's your purpose here at the World Water Week? My name's David Duncan. If you can show me that. Certainly. All right. I represent Uska News, mm -hmm. uh, which is a publishing company based in Washington, D.C., that specializes in delivery of news in the water sector from the developing world. Um, and what is the main message that you're trying to send to participants? Well, it, it, it's very nice to have an opportunity to show people our um, excellent magazines that cover water. Um, I think one of the things that impresses me about this conference is that it brings together participants from a number of the constituencies that we work for and with um, policymakers, mm -hmm. NGOs, and more than a smattering of corporates who require um, current information and are here to educate themselves mm -hmm. about water issues. Um, I find that encouraging. Mm -hmm. And you, you're working here with the, with the press team, as, a, as, as I understand? Yes, indeed. Uh, we also have the honour and privilege of producing a daily newspaper for Siwi mm -hmm. during uh, World Water Week. Um, it is a four-page news sheet. Mm -hmm. I brought a small team over from Washington to produce that, and our first one comes out tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That's great. And how, how do you reflect on the first day so far? Well, the first day of these sorts of events, I, one, one does spend a bit of time uh, finding one's feet and finding where the coffee machine is. <laughs> um, I think things are going to get busier as the, um, as the week goes on, I'm sure. Um, and I think this is a great feature, the water cube. Um, mm. We're going to do a story about it in tomorrow's newspaper. Great. Thank you very much.